Game Farm with Edo Podcast. Hello everyone, it's Podcast Edo, back here again with another episode, and this time it's our 30th episode, That, which means it's our second anniversary of Talking Fun with Edo Podcast. So, my guest today that we have for our first guest is Know All Comics, an international channel for life. I mean, Know All Comics and Down Heart. So, here is the interview and there will be more to explain right after this. So, here we go. And also, before we begin, here is the warning sound. Now, let's start. Hello everyone, it's Edo for the podcast Edo, and here that we have today, today is our two guests for our second anniversary of Talking Fun with Edo, which is uh, Downheart and also Noel Comics. Say hello everyone. Hey, hey, how's it going, Woo! man? <laughs> now we're going to start off with um, a little bit of a Q&A, which was more likely like suggested from uh Drew B and Matt Tat. So whoever would like to go first, I'll just uh mute my mic and uh anybody that like to ask, go right ahead. Here we go. Okay, Edo. Well what the heck I'll start here. Uh Edo, uh what got you wanting to have your own uh YouTube slash TV talk show? So I guess my I, uh, the reason why I wanted to do this is just to share my love of culture of not only like Asian culture, but just the world at the same time. And, you know, when at the time when I first started this, uh, this not not this channel, but the main channel, it was just like kind of like vlogging style. And then as it progressed, it was just like okay, now I could do this, and now I could talk about this. And when this uh, came to the second channel, this has been on my mind for, like, a while. So pretty, I think, like, a good three to four years ago, this is when I wanted to do it, but I just, uh, I didn't really, not only I did not know how to do it, but I just was, like, I didn't feel, like, quite ready for it, especially because at that same time, I just started my own channel. So I just had to, like, kind of, like, give some space between that. So that was kind of how I like came up with this idea for that time. And uh, yeah, this is how I came up for the idea for the podcast channel and also uh, my main channel. So next, not, not next person, but just like, you know, I have a question. Uh, what, where do you see your uh, your your champ? What do you see your entertainment heading towards, like in the near future? Because I, I I see a lot of potential with you and this YouTube channel. So what kind of what kind of entertainment do you do you want to you want to pursue? Thanks for asking. Um, the entertainment that I'm pursuing is starting to make like my own music which is just like um just about you know like life and fun and like other stuff of just like you know writing my own stuff for like television shows and also you know even just like collaborating with like anybody that could come along aboard not only for this for this main channel but also the first channel that i have so that's uh my main goals here so now you guys could ask questions about each other now Okay, I will okay. Uh, ask a question uh, to my colleague uh, Aaron here. Uh, Aaron, are you at the beach, man? I'm at I'm at the uh, I'm at a pool right now. Nice, nice, very nice. All right, very cool, very cool. Well, you yeah, know that's definitely like the disclaimer I'll be adding there soon. <laughs> don't uh, no no. I just I I didn't realize like how much sun and fun was going on on your end. So you know. Respect to that. Yeah. I wish I was in a pool. That's right why I have now. a shirt off. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. No, I don't. I just I saw people like walking around, and it looked like a uh, looks like a beachy fun situation. I just noticed that. Yeah. Too. I didn't know what was going on at first. I was just like, "Wait, what's going on?" But that I was just like, "Ooh, he's at the beach." Ah, uh, 
This video will probably get age restricted. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, well, so I got a question don't, for you. Uh, don't uh don't don't drop the camera in the in the water. Although we could try to sell this to the to the Discovery Channel and maybe expand our algorithm, you know, get some like oh, yeah, uh, yeah. water exploration. Really kind of piggyback on that Titanic tragedy, you know. So not to oh, not to be yeah. that, that was, that, <laughs> Oh wow. my god. I, I still can't I still can't believe that that happened. Yeah, that was really just insane. Um, you know, and I, I yeah, I, I you know, if you were talking about Greek uh, philosophy before the start of this, and uh, you know, not flying too close to the sun, you know, like wisdom is is a very good thing, but uh, wisdom with I guess without humility and caution is uh, we can lead to disaster. So you know, so it's nice to know what's going on underwater, but it's also important to make sure, just like the Titanic, that you have all your you know T's crossed and I's dotted before you. Uh, hop in to go explore so i don't know how we ended up starting yeah. to talk about this oh yeah you're uh you're uh beachside and, and living the dream so that's yeah. that's that's actually uh that's that it's actually a shame when i think about it because we could have we could have evolved so much more if uh theodosia the first dance start um said burning taking plays and burning taking philosophies <laughs> we could have evolved in our way of thinking a lot more but because then for nearly a thousand years we nobody knew nobody really knew much about Plato other than the Timia. Uh-huh. And that and and yeah, that's that's basically what I read, yeah. what I read about him. Wait, Plato's really cool. I'm actually a Sunday school teacher. So the idea of, you know, Plato's idea of like, you know, forms of truth that are you know, beyond the here and now is really interesting to me. You know, the idea of this being kind of like a reflection beneath something, you know, greater and above us, you know, there's, there's kind of like truth that's not just bubbling up from below, but it's also coming down from above is I think an interesting um, and important uh, mindset to have. So yeah, that can lead to things like, like having perspective and humility so we don't think that we just like, oh, I know it all. And that we were, we were talking about, you know, Socrates and sophist elitism and stuff like that. Although, you know, again, wild tangents are happening in this uh, in this uh, triad discussion right here. So good times, good times. Yeah, I mean, this is actually good. This is this would actually facilitate uh, an intelligent one, because then people are going to be like, oh, wow, these guys are talking about Greek philosophy. Where did that come from? <laughs> These guys must be like legit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I also am a big fan. Head. I, I like your sunglasses and your, and your, and your cool headphones too. I, I'm, I I'm like the kind of sort of, of, of cool glasses. So, and yeah, you have. Like what is that? Out? <laughs> nice. I, okay. my, one of my favorite philosophies was the uh, substance, matter, and form, which hmm. Berkeley he he ends up. Saying that the, the the reality of nature tells us how we know, but the substance of reality is in mind, and our experiences consist in ideas. And he got this from from John Locke, who mm. who argued that our our identities are an accumulation of our of our experiences versus what people used to think, which was our souls, where it gave us our definitive, our spirits gave us our definitive identities so that must have been crazy because if you if you think about it like oh yeah this person must have the spirit of a demon you know how how quick to how quick witted they must have been to just judge people you know absolutely, absolutely. And then, yeah so that that's that's pretty interesting yeah i really yeah def i really like the uh I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, the, 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 the baseline version of it, I guess, is like the nature and nurture. But there's definitely, I think, things that are, you know, like deep inside of us, yeah. uh, maybe, maybe even like biologically, structurally, in terms of just how human beings develop. But then also our environment and what, you know, stimuli and examples we have and how we interact with those to make sure that we have... Um, you know, ethical uh, development and are able to achieve our potential in, in a in a positive, healthy way that's not just good for us, but for other people is uh, super important, you know.
and you know any philosophy that yeah. can lead to that, that i think is very uh interesting and and nice wow this yeah. is this is uh <laughs> And by the way, like, Batman was awesome in uh, the Flash movie. If you didn't see it, so that's why right. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm guessing you guys. I guess this is all right. Well, um, before we go, I would like to ask you guys, like, what are the uh next stuff you're coming up with? Just in case anybody would like to ask, uh, for Downheart and uh, Noel Comics, what's the next things that's coming up for you guys well on my youtube channel uh we are still uh live streaming uh you know several times a week more maybe like one to two it's summertime for me um i'm still uploading uh video game reviews probably you know maybe like three a month um i try to have content coming on my channel from a variety of uh, a variety of things sometimes uh, I draw comic books and sync them up to J-pop songs. Sometimes I rip stuff off VHS tapes, which I'm doing right now. I'm ripping a lot of uh, commercials um, from 1997 Simpsons tapes that I have. So there's some cool like Final Fantasy VII, N64 commercials. Um, I'm actually ripping um, my talk show that I did when I was a teenager that was filmed on Betamax. Oh, um, you I'm had a talk to show? That. I'll be uploading that to the channel soon. Um, nice. I got to be careful uploading the hey, hey, hey stuff. I have one strike on my channel that's on the verge of expiring in a week. Oh, no. So, the three you know, it's, it's oh, stupid. No. It's stupid stuff, man. It's like a video. You got to move to archive a, now. A, a video like... will sit on my channel for like two years. And someone in, you know, Fuji TV will see it. It's like, you know what? Screw this guy. Strike him. And it's like, there's nothing I can do. You gotta move but, to archives uh, you now. Know. But I, I do want to keep doing the international channel archiving. Um, so yeah, video game reviews. I've also been into boxing and pro wrestling reviews and stuff like that. So you know, I I also have a TikTok uh, that I Ooh, kind of more boxing. abridged versions of nice. my YouTube stuff on. It's all Noel Comics, N O E L C O M I X with an X. Right. Um, and then uh, here's Serafina, you know, playing with this Happy Meal box. She's adorable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which is Santino's lunch right there. Very good. <laughs> so the kids will often hop in on the streams. And by the way, I have a very real wife who's not a robot. So that's also true. So <laughs> this is not some kind of science scenario. I did not, you know, I am capable socially of having a family. So. Yeah. I'm a social study teacher. Okay. That's social. That's good. That's good. Aaron, what's uh down hard? What's coming up for you, my man? Oh, what's coming up for me? A lot of hot yeah. shit. You know, I'm uh I'm thinking about um well I'm making songs right now. I'm writing, and me and my my friend, his name is Illy Manili. He's on my Instagram and keep it down hmm. hard. I'll be posting it whenever his album comes out. Nice. Uh, he's, he's posting an EP on an album yet. His album's coming out in October, and I'm going to feature on it. And I'm, right. writing, I'm just writing songs, and whenever that's not, whenever uh, whenever that comes out, um, you know, I'll let you guys know. But I'm going to be featuring wow. on one of his songs. Definitely. Uh -huh. All right. Thank so, yo, you so much. Yo, for, wait, uh... can, I, can I end it? Can I end it with a freestyle? Can I end it with sure, a freestyle? Sure, sure, sure. Before, yeah, before we say, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sure. We got three minutes, yeah. though, so we got to go hell. quickly. Yo, all right, okay. Oh, hell, let me cast a spell. It's me, Edo, and that dude, Noel. Yo, I know him well. We both tragic in the magic. You know what I do, man. It's always a disaster. I'm just the master. Gonna call the catastrophe my malady. Yo, I got Ooh. nothing but animality up in my genes. And you know, you know what I do, man. I'm just that obscene. I like to go on the scene. Just flip it. Flip the screen. You know what I do every single time I screw up on the microphone because I'm just that guy. That and always ask why, like Socrates, yo, my philosophy is embedded with invested with the Socratic method. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Guess it. That's nice. <laughs> Yay. Well, yeah, guys. that's what's up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Well, guys, that's an Edo exclusive is, for you. Yeah, that's well, some good guys. stuff, man. That was some hot, hot fire. Right. Well, guys. I'll be seeing you all later. Thanks for joining. I don't know always fun anytime, man. Thanks for you guys joining. It's the second anniversary, and 
<laughs> I'm gonna see you guys later. Goodbye. Hey brothers, thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to Goodbye. see you. Too, gang. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed. So for the ones that couldn't make it, they some of them could make it for the questions and then some others couldn't, but don't you worry, I will definitely add their tribute right along here, along with a shout out. So they have asked me some questions, which the first one came from Matt Tat. He has asked me, what is my favorite pop top flavor? Well, my favorite pop tart flavor would be the cookies and cream, the Eggos, um, the s'mores, and cinnamon. I know there's possibly other more that I've either haven't tried or haven't seen. I know one that's like everybody's favorite. Oh, I also like the purple one too. But the one that um, I couldn't really try is the strawberry one because I'm kind of like allergic to red stuff. So, but other than that, and possibly I even feel like in other places, you know, outside of the U.S., I think they have like more flavors like Kit Kat and and pocky and stuff like that so our next question comes from christina Yu, and she has asked us what did you like and enjoy most of your two years of your journey so one of my favorite things for this two-year journey was just collaborating with everyone especially along with not just this channel but also my main channel of my favorite collaborations of it all, the biggest ones, was not only just the Korean report, but also my Berry's Kobo report and also my White Berry report. Those were my biggest collaboration of all time. And those were my that was my favorite thing I really like for the journey that I have taken upon with this. And our next question from Drew B. He has asked, what is my favorite Cartoon Network character? Now, right off the bat of what my name is, my favorite Cartoon Network show of all time is Ed and Eddie. And on that note, my favorite Cartoon Network character of all time is Double D because he's just, you know, he's so nice. He's funny. And he's just, you know, a kind person. You know, and definitely I followed the voice actor that voices him, so he'll definitely like that take as well. But around on that note, it's been 19 years since I first seen Ed and Eddie, and I just never look back because this was like a really good show of like it was just so colorful, so funny, and just super inventive. So my favorite Cartoon Network show was at an eight, and my favorite character on that note is Double D. So our last question that we have come from the Aim Pay 18, and he has asked us, are there any new initiatives or projects planned for the upcoming year? Well, the new stuff that is coming out is, like I've said previously, is uh, working on some songs and some scripts, so that's going to be the new thing, and also a very new thing that's also going to be coming soon as well i'll be working on it of uh, something that you guys will really love to enjoy it's just a hint so that will be it and also here is the questions and answer for our other guests here we go so drew b has asked what does everybody think of chorizo and what that is it's sausages the specific sausage that you mix up and grind with meat for downheart he said that they're really good but i can't really eat them because he really has the runs while eating them and for noel he never tried them but for certain i would believe he would try them so Let's move on to the next part of this second anniversary. So now, after everything, we're now going to move in to the shout But before we even get to that, we got to get to our main first guest, which is the Ainpeg 18, Noel's Comics, International Channel for Life, Christina Yu, Matt Tag, Ruby, Malik, Riv and Downheart. So our shout outs for our second year 30th episode goes to 
Zakushi TV, Zachary Ford, Coast Film Club, King Cobra Kai, Crab Finetti, SS94A, Slow Sheen, ah, The Slow Sheen UK, Sasha Howard Vegetarianus, Jack Scott, and an old school shout out to the SYR Bros channel because on this note, we have reached two year anniversary of a channel. So shout outs to them and also a good shout outs to Rib Malik and Matt Tech of congrats, uh, graduating early or graduating late of Full Sail University, so congratulations to them. So speaking of stuff coming up is, of course, um, for my main channel, I am going to try my very best to get to the Q and A's of the guests that I've had for the first year and just, you know, more episodes along with that. And also my main channel, not much has happened for that, but I'll be definitely working on my best way to come up with content as well. So thank you all for enjoying my second year anniversary of my podcast. On that note, I would like for this channel to reach 200 subscribers for its second year. And you know, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Talking fun with